Making your way in the world today takes everything you've got. Who remembers that song? That's the theme song to Cheers. I was talking to Shanika today via text and I was telling her that whenever I'm feeling down, I go listen to that song on YouTube and it always cheers me up. Isn't it appropriate because it's the theme song to Cheers and it cheers me up? So um, one time I remember going to the church and they were having like a conference or something and a big name speaker came in to speak and that's what he opened his preaching with. He was singing that song and a lot of the people didn't know what the song was right away because a lot of the church members don't listen to secular music but and a lot of them don't know the, the opening words. They know the chorus, the part that says, sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name, right? Everybody knows that part, right? <laughs> So um, I looked at my neighbor, I'm like, that's the theme song of the church. And she goes, oh, okay, that's why. So you guys go look up that song on YouTube and listen to all the verses because it was in later years after they first wrote the song that they added the other verses to the song. And they're very cute, okay? They'll, they'll, they'll cheer you up, I promise. So let me see how my day started. Right now it's 2.30 on Friday, August the 4th. And my day started off with a visit to the doctor's. I made that appointment yesterday, but I was going to cancel it if my doctor wasn't going to be there because I really wanted to talk with her. So I went for her to check out my right ear because it still feels plugged. It feels like when you're on an airplane and it's taking off or landing. It's just like really horrible. It's not hurting, but it feels like there's a lot of pressure and especially in here. And then now this one started to do the same thing. So she said it's because of the weather, because of the humidity and the mugginess and stuff of the weather. All the sinuses are going out of whack, and then my eustachian tubes are they're not functioning right right now. They're kind of malfunctioning, for lack of a better word. So they're, so they're not deleting the fluid that's supposed to pass through on a regular basis. They're just like building up in there, putting pressure to my eardrum, and that's why I feel so out of whack. You know, I'm not really dizzy, but I'm not really stable either. But then again, you all know I'm kind of off my rockers, so... Um, the cure to it, of course, is like Claritin and um, anything that decongests you and stuff like that. But I can't take none of that because of the deficiency. So I'm going to have to do a natural cure. And that means Jada's going to come tug at my ear like this and put the, the blow dryer right in there with the warm um, air. And, um, you know, so I can ease some of the tension. So right now it's all here. It's like, ah. Uh... So I don't have my neck pain from the pillow issue. Oh, I ordered the pillow. I don't have my neck pain from the pillow issue, but I just have it right in here like it's tugging, tugging, tugging. So um, speaking of Shanika, tomorrow she's going to come so they can do the mukbang for the homemade chilies. That's the appetizers that you would get at the restaurant chilies. That's what they're going to do. Jada's going to make all that stuff while I'm going to help her. And they're going to sit down and eat that for, um, for a show. I think today Joe and I are going to do our boil up mukbang. I wanted to do that with Shanika, but I'm dying to eat my boil up. That's going to make me happy because it's a lot of good carbs and it's salmon, which I like. And it's, oh my God, everything that I love. So I'm going to go like boil the eggs right now while Joe starts boiling the pigtail. I don't eat pigtail, but I'm going to have the fish and some of the ground food. Joe, did you get the plantains? Mm -hmm. Good ripe ones? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. And he also brought coconut water inside the coconut don't buy that stuff in the can okay that's no good and so huh you didn't pick up any coconut milk we gotta get that food for less huh 165 Ooh, 165 they're crazy mm. so we're gonna boil it without the coconut milk that's gonna be depressing wanna boil it without coconut milk i gotta go figure this out y'all i have a crisis here so Joe and I went after the doctor's appointment, we drove straight to Osley. And then when we got there, Mr. Osley was in his shorts with no shirt. And then he has to get up and lotion his whole body because he swears everything is itching him. But I think it's the meds that they give him that they kind of itch. And then uh, by then it was kind of late, it was lunchtime. So he said he'd rather go to the um, dining room than to go outside, which outside was hot. And so we, I went to go visit Ron right when we got there. Uh, they moved Ron to a different room all the way in the back. 
And Ron says it sucks, you know, because it doesn't have a view, but um, the food is better. The menu options that he has to pick from is way better food. So he's kind of happy. So he was really glad to see us. When I walked in, he was like, yes, I have a visitor. And he goes, where's Joe? I'm like, he's visiting Osley. And so we visited Osley for a while, and then we went and visited Ron. And he was so happy to have the company, you know. He was talking about the crazy guy from North Korea. He was talking about the crazy guy from here. He was... <laughs> I was talking about a lot of things. So we had a good visit with them. And then Joe went and smogged the Tahoe because the registration is due on the 8th. Y'all, I don't know why I bought that Tahoe in my birthday month because it never fails. Every time I have to register this Tahoe, there goes my birthday. It's $100 to register it. Thank God it's not more than that. But, ugh, dang. Every time you have the money put aside for it, something else eats it, and then you have to use your birthday money for it. It sucks. Apparently, me, there was a horrible accident on the freeway coming to my house, like four miles away from my house. After 10, four dead and two injured. So the guy that came to buy the uh, knee scooter, he was stuck in that. Where are you going, Joe? You're gonna have to hump this. <laughs> you wanna leave it here? <clears throat> yeah, so poor thing. They said a mother and two kids are dead. And I don't know who the fourth person is that's dead. But I'm hearing stories that somebody stopped to help and then they got hit when they stopped it. Oh my Lord, I don't even want to think about it. Just be grateful that my, me and mine are alive, huh? I think we've decided to scrap the boil up mukbang today and do it tomorrow before Shanika comes. Because all that, all that uh, carb is going to be heavy in my stomach and I really and truly want to go to the gym. So we'll go eat something light and then go to the gym. We're heading to the gym, guys. This is the second time we've been behind a police today. Hi. <laughs> my mind is troubling. Papa, you're there, babe? Paris. Paris? Paris? You're rich then? Yeah. Wow. Even though even though you don't have no money, you gotta think rich. <laughs> That's what I keep telling you. You gotta think that stuff and speak that stuff into your life. See how bad the wreck is, guys? Look, that truck mount. Oh, okay. So that's one? That's the only one. That's one? Okay, so where's the other one? Uh -huh. That's the truck, right? They monk the car, my god. Hello? Hey, what's up? The line for in and out. Right, the piano. Yeah. What's he trying to do? Yeah. What's he trying to do? Uh huh. It's at the end of my night. Bill Maher came back on tonight. He was off for like a month, so I have to go watch my Bill Maher. Um, we had a wonderful time at the gym. I'm so glad we got our workout on. And um, Joe needs to thank me because I'm always the one that motivates him to go to the gym. Jada and uh, Jada was messing with Joe earlier and, and she's all Joe's like look at me my stomach's going down all this stuff and Jada's like thanks to mom and then he goes why you know she's not the one putting in the workout for me and Jada's like she gives you all the right food to eat and she forces you to go to the gym you better thank mommy <laughs> so um, before I leave you guys tonight um, I've been watching this youtuber right I don't know the name of the channel to tell you the name because I only found her, well they found me, the, the thing came up in my feed and the video that came up, I think it was like maybe last week was the first time I saw the video and it was a video where she was live on June the 29th and she was talking about her husband, her love gained his wings, his heavenly wings. So I went to go see, you know, what happened, of course, and she it was a live video. So it was a long video to try to get through. And people were questioning her along the way, like, what happened? What happened? So um, since then, I've watched. I can't find her when I'm in my account for the cooking channel, but I can find her when I'm in the vlog channel. So I'm thinking whatever name was there, 
is not the name that the channel was originally and I have to look up in the search bar to find the real name of the channel because you know you could change the name of your channel anytime but it will never change in that address bar on the top so that's why if you go look at maybe somebody like Laura in the kitchen her show is now called Laura in the kitchen but before that it was called something else and so you have to look in that address bar to see the real name of her show so anyways um, from what I've gathered from the four videos that I've watched it seems that um, the, the husband, the husband's a white guy, the lady's a black lady. They have four kids, I don't know how many are his and how many are hers or whatever, I, I haven't gotten that far. But they, they seem to have been married for a long time because when she did the husband and wife tag, August the 2nd, 2016, she was talking about how other YouTubers were not married as long as she was you know, to her husband and how much she adored him and how much she took care of, care of her and stuff like that. So they seem like they've been married for at least over 15 years or so. And um, I get the impression the guy's a little bit older than her. I, I don't know their ages, just, you know, by looking. But the guy is, like, kind of quiet like Joe when he's on the vlogs. But every now and again, he'll open his mouth and say something either funny or just really sensitive and poignant. You know, so I went back to see the video where they did the husband and wife tag because I wanted to know a little bit more about their love and their marriage. And um, they did that tag on August the 2nd, 2016, and I watched it August the 2nd, 2017. It was creepy, okay? So apparently, the, the man had been training for a triathlon for eight months, and it was supposed to be held on June the 17th. That's the day before Father's Day, the day before Joshua's birthday. And the guy said on June 14th, when he was in the garage working out, that when I'm done with this, I'm going to spend Father's Day with my wife and kids, and then I'm going to ease on back into my um, routine on the Monday after Father's Day because I want to do another race on August the 28th. And so apparently when the guy went to do the race, he had some type of an accident during the biking section and he died. I was like, oh my God, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like he had a heart attack or something, like, like it was an accident. Like maybe he got hit by a car or maybe he tumbled. I don't know what happened, okay? So um, I guess uh, to this lady's viewers, because I'm a new viewer, on the 14th of June was the last time they came on, you know, with a vlog, letting everybody know that the race was coming up the 17th. He was ready, and they were going to vlog from there. And then nobody saw them again till July the 20th, June, June the 29th, when she came on and said he had passed. So one viewer wrote in the comments that she did come on live, but she took the live down, and she was asking for prayers for him on the day of the race. So now, finally, she put up a vlog where she showed everything from the 14th of June right up to his uh, funeral services. And um, the, the, um, the 14th was when they came on and said they were ready. And then they showed the 17th morning he was with his bike. The little girl looked like she didn't want to be up that early, but they had to go to some other state. I think they live in Georgia and they had to go to Illinois. And they were getting ready to go for this race. And she showed where she was at the end. She got a good seat at the end. The first place winner came in. The second place winner came in. And she's waiting for her hubby to come in. So that's where it's left, guys. I don't know what happened while she was waiting. You know, who alerted her? You know, when did they rush to the hub? But it, it's so sad to see the little girl sit there waiting for their dad to come on his first race. And he's not coming in, you know? So that's all I know. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this sad story, but it kind of rested on my heart. But not to be depressed. You know, I didn't, I, I don't get depressed when I watch. When I watch her video, I just become so grateful. You know, even if I were in a bad mood and I didn't really, really want to cook this thing that Joe wanted me to cook or do whatever, I, I just kind of take a step back and go, you know what, be grateful. Be grateful Joe is still here. He's healthy. He's by your side because look at this beautiful lady. She doesn't have her loving husband anymore and the husband looks like he was such a nice guy you know so the kids are missing their dad they had a, they have a beautiful home that they you know equipped for themselves to enjoy and now she has to lease it out to go live in an apartment and oh my god when I start to think about that I get down on my knees and I thank God and I'm so grateful so um, I guess um, I'm telling you the story to remind you just to be grateful okay um, if you're fighting with, you know, a family member that you feel like you're, you're going to miss them if, you know, they pass on or whatever, make amends. You know, if, I don't care if it's your brother, sister, mommy, puppy, you know, pick me them, just go ahead and make amends. That, that's just my advice. So I'm so grateful 
all the kids are in here safe. Jada went to the movie that's right here in town. And it was a 7.30 movie, so she shouldn't be out too late tonight. I'm glad she went right here in town because after that big accident, you know, you get all jittery and stuff. Two young kids lost their lives, and I'm sure they're probably Fontanans. And if they belong to Fontana, I'm sure Jory would know them because, you know, he teaches. So <sighs> that's sad. That's sad. Anyways, I'm going to end this one for tonight. I don't know if you'll see one tomorrow night. You may, you may, because I really want to edit whatever, whatever mukbang Shanika comes and, um, and does with the kids tomorrow. I want to edit that and have that up tomorrow night at the cooking channel. So I might be slow in putting the vlog. So you might see it Sunday morning, but it'll be a Saturday vlog. And um, me and Joe are going to do our boil up mukbang early in the morning before Shanika comes, like around 11 in the morning. So we're looking forward to that, okay? I want to thank you guys for watching my show. Thumbs up the video if you like it. I'm going to find out that lady's, the name of that lady's channel so I can tell you in case you guys want to go check it out. I haven't passed a comment yet because I want to watch some more to get a good sense of what's going on. And um, don't forget to comment, okay, because I really do look forward to your comments. I love y'all. Bye. When the red button is on? Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, see you. I'm doing it. Back on the boat. Splash. What, splash? Yeah.